I'm Daily Fix and welcome back to X4 Foundations as the unworthy entrepreneur. We're currently watching one of my large mining ships. Yes, I finally got around and actually got myself uh, a few of them. So the way we usually do it, let me just go over the overview things that I've changed here and there. So, going into map, you see we almost have no money because I have not been sitting still. Uh, we're currently... Uh, how do you say that? We're increasing, yeah, increasing production on the solar power plant. Uh, we were just having like a, a small 800 power cells. Uh, above what the entire empire is currently using so yeah we had to increase that so now everything is going uh, semi good you can see that the ice is coming in uh, we were flat broke oh my uh, ice was out all was out and silicon well silicon we don't really need but it was it was out and if things are out Especially ice and ore, the entire production, with the exception of solar power plants, stops. Yeah, that's not what we want. So, I decided to remove the ore distribution. We might have to go back on that later, especially when our empire is large enough that we can suck entire systems dry. That is when we want to make sure that in several systems, some others are mining, and that is distributed all the way over here. Speaking of distribution, uh, if there are still people setting up the empire, we're changing, uh, let's go to ice, station over. If you're still one of those people that likes to automatic price your water to the maximum amount or the lowest amount, I can only say, please don't do that. So, right now, this is the water facility, and it is pretty much being surrounded by factories that require water. But now, just say for the fun of it, you don't have that. So, you have this gorgeous spice factory, and you're like buying in water for the maximum amount of money. Awesome. However, if you buy in with all of the factories that you have for the maximum amount of water, then where will this factory deliver the water first? Well, usually that is the one that is nearest. The shortest distance amount to travel is the most profitable for the AI, and therefore the one that's nearest will be completely filled up, then the one next to it, then the one next to it, and the one. And there is an option that the one who is furthest away is just not going to be getting anything. Yeah, it's possible. So if you just keep it the way we have set it up over here, like, you know, automatic pricing, then every time that this fills up, the price drops. Every, every time that the storage drops, the price increases. So the AI is going to be balancing out your empire for you. Unless you start messing with the pricing. I've seen one of my distribution ships at the POS delivering uh, uh, no strop oil to the scale plate pack over there. Uh, I most likely am not going to be able to find that guy. He's probably somewhere around going back. Actually, here we go. One more. Solid distribution. My solid distribution is delivering silicon to the silicon refinery over here. Because, well, we are not using it. There is no demand. And this is apparently the nearest one that just buys a ton of it. Let's take a quick look of it. He is only buying in 35,000. Okay, that's actually not that much. I know... That the ore I had to change because the ore is actually the ore was being 
delivered to the there's a factory over here, Taladium foundry over here. And the reason for that is simple, the Taladium foundry over here um, has a request of about, you know, 200,000 pieces of ore for 59 cents. So it's mostly the highest amount that you can get for it, something like that. So I had to manually go into my station overview and say, well, buddy, from now on, he's getting it for mining, your distribution only to my own empire. This is basically the allowed faction, my own empire. Until this fills up like crazy, I'm just going to leave it the way it is right now. Because there is no way, no way I can balance out 200,000 pieces of ore with a factory. That is right around the corner. This is actually making you quite a bit of money, which is all fine. So, yeah. Why do I need ore? Well, we have a Taladium foundry over here. And it is... Uh, you see, it's shy on ore. And I'm still building. Still getting ships in with the distribution hub. Actually, I will most likely stop doing that. As you can see, it's getting close. If it ha is going to be halfway, I'll be satisfied with the amount of all being delivered but currently we have two cranes and two magnetars the reason for that is it doesn't really matter which one you take it's a preference and my preference basically is the amount of money it costs to buy a bloody ship if i go to this one from the taladi uh it will cost me three million eight hundred and twenty credits if I go to the Argon Federation, buying a ship, large, uh, mining, mining over there, that is 2,801,000 credits. And they all have like the, the traveling tier two. Also, also, the other factions, with the exception, of course, the Taladi or the Ministry of Finance, don't have a large turret for mining now i like to have some defenses so if i go and build one this is the mining the others are all going to be um oh wait why is that not flag i need to change that the flag is way better than shot definitely want to change that uh mining one there we go uh this is how i want to set this up so because once the 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 the, the car are going to be too much of a nuisance at least this ship can defend itself going back to the Tladi because i want to show you uh large mining that's gas mining turrets see only medium slots there is no large weapons on the Tladi ships and i think that's a missed opportunity anyhow that is enough of me babbling about how i set everything up currently let us just dive in. Where are we currently? So we are at Kingdoms. Oh my god, the mouse scroll wheel is bloody obnoxious. Let's go talk to the Boron. <laughs> oh yes, let's talk to the Boron. Why not? Hydra. I also increased the audio a tiny bit. I actually increased it by 10 points. Hopefully it is not... Oh, actually, I should probably change this downwards because I didn't have that one. So that moved it. Uh, it should be on level right now. Ooh, don't want to change. Ah, whatever. I'll check that out later. Let's go talk to Leda Wee. How gracious and polite of you to help. Hey there, partner. What do you want? How's it going? I'm busy. Recent exploits might have opened up a new opportunity for that's, us. That's awesome, dude. I'm busy. Uh, okay. It seems that you're on awfully friendly terms with one of the Paranid factions. Oh, yeah, I'm very, very, very you know, friendly. I've always been interested in the seemingly eternal civil war between the God Realm and the Holy Order. If mm -hmm. you want to help me dig deeper, you'll have to improve your relations with both warring parties. Yeah, because we are definitely going to be profiteering from both of these factions wanting to annihilate each other because why not consider it done nice, nice. oh quick say damn auto save 
Come on. Uh, lost my bearing there for a second. Let's go talk to Lida Wee. Welcome again. Hi. Uh, you wanted to see me? Yes, indeed. I would like to give you my most heartfelt thanks and appreciation for supporting us in this. That's awesome, but I'm at the lot. Just give you me money. And everyone else far exceeded my expectations, especially considering the unfortunate turn of events. Oh of no! Course, I also remember the reward that was mentioned in the official posting. Though I will need you to restore your temporary ship assignment to us. Oh no! Oh no, my ship is on the other damn side. Ah, it's with the POS. I sent the dragon off and we're like in the um, <laughs> kingdom's end. Oh, that's going to be obnoxious. You seem dissatisfied. Am I truly that easy to read? Yeah, I can oh, just well. see it on your eyes, man. You see, in the moment, it seemed to me that our attack on the Ka'ak Conclave was unavoidable. That they were most likely planning an attack even before our intrusion. Puka Bo assures me that I have done the Queendom proud and that I made the proper and logical decision. But there remains a lingering doubt, a fear that I have betrayed my conviction for no palpable gain. But please, do not concern yourself with such considerations. There is a victory to be celebrated today. That's awesome, just give me money. What are, uh, uh, what were the car trying to do? We do not know the answer to that, not with any certainty. Okay. It seemed, though, as if they had realized that without capital ships, their attacks against our construction operation and our carrier could only serve as a distraction. The true target, therefore, may have always been our supply transports. The Ka'ak may have even deliberately eschewed them in the beginning to make us think of them as mindless drones. Tinfi Ga has raised such a possibility with me, and I greatly value her loyalty and experience. She also thinks that we forced the Ka'ak into a corner, that they were forced to devise a radical and risky plan despite little prospect of success. Uh -huh. Fortunately, events such as these are now a thing of the past. The highway will drastically limit the likelihood of our species interacting in the future. So perhaps we are now safe from them, and they from us. Yeah, sure. Uh, give me a second here, Commander. Yes, yes, of course. Because this is awkward. Uh, my cactus currently, like I said, is going to be over here. Yeah, ain't that awesome. Also, yeah, there is a small abandoned ship over here. Yes, of okay. course, we will take it uh, when we're flying over there. Let us tell the cactus to, yeah, board. Yeah, no, dog can wait over there. Uh, <laughs> oh, I hope he won't be taking too long, though. Uh, I still have to do some of the research as you can see look it's been difficult okay i don't want to do the basics engines but let's focus on the story right now oh damn scorpio i keep saying that i know um wait did we just lost lose a ship here No, I think it was already destroyed. Oh yeah, one of the uh, the ships was destroyed and I reassigned one of these over there. So we might need to get a few more ships doing distribution for us. Right now we're just saving up money. Uh, and I'll only build the next factory when these... When this is just, just more centered out. When we've actually balanced our empire, right? You can see... The sunrise flowers are very low. And that's also over here. So I'm likely thinking there was a water shortage. But that's fine. Well, we'll just see that. So I'll just give the ship back. Is it time to continue? And then uh yeah, here I have my I ship. You know, your honesty and trustworthiness. 
and I am pleased to bestow upon you the due reward for your highly esteemed contributions. But, as I have just yeah, been go. informed, that is not all. Please consider paying a visit to the crew quarters, where someone should be waiting for you. Uh, okay. And my eternal gratitude shall accompany you. Yeah, great. That, that's what I needed, man. Eternal gratitude. Uh, where the hell is... Oh, there we go. Crew quarters. It is... Okay. What? Fellow pilot. Uh, Lita, we told me your final you assessment. Interesting. Assessment of our mission or of your personal performance? <laughs> Allow me your indulgence for this small. No, gesture. why did I click that? Your skill in battle was, of course, nothing short of exemplary. Much like that of my fellow Finn leader, Tin Fagar, for whom I continue to hold great respect. Mm -hmm. I am likewise impressed by the ebullient and audacious decisiveness of our good commander, Leda Wee. I was talking about but my thing. Provincial mentality and custom seems to be entirely unfounded in this case. I understand that you have both already received high accolades. And from none less than Her Majesty the Queen Polythides herself, I might add. I warrant that the skills of such an astute and auspicious leader are utterly wasted on mere local administration or a humble captaincy. I shall look forward to hearing more about your rapid rise in our freshly interconnected galaxy, and indeed that of Leda Wee. Yeah, I I regret uh, I really regret putting that out. So uh, let's do Indeed, four. As he well should have. Since Lilac Thin was merely a temporary arrangement to aid the mission in Sanctuary of Darkness, some of my subordinates are now looking towards new opportunities. This is, of course, all well and proper. One of my most promising pilots has made a request to be transferred to your command. Really? Naturally, I heartily endorse her request. I agree. I need she another pilot. She is anticipating your review in this very room. Alright, that's going to be her, I'm assuming. Oh, wait, it's her. Uh, pilot free, morale free, you... Popo. <laughs> okay. Popo. Hello there. Hello there. Sure, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Hi. Um, you... I'm going to like you a lot. I really needed another level 4. of actually level 3. Uh, we have two ships currently uh, doing advanced trade. Uh, one of the other things, guys, maybe you can help me with this. I have been monitoring where they buy and where they sell. And unfortunately, it seems that they never, never buy stuff from your own faction. Now, you could say like, yeah, but you put up these orders, right? Yeah, well, I've actually changed them to include my own faction. So they never get stuff from over there. So quite strange to be fair. Maybe it, actually, let me check. Uh, well, that makes a lot of sense. We don't have refined metals. Wait, I'm an idiot. Why am I doing refined metals with a Taladi? With, with... Oh, you absolute baboon. What are you doing? Of course they don't get that from me. Uh, let's add or remove <laughs> refined metals. Because, well, they... Well, actually, let's just add that. We'll add the Taladium. We'll add Spice... We will actually quickly go Sunrise Flowers. No Strop Oil. 
Yeah, I will, uh, this is just stupid. I'm sorry. Energy cells, sure, I don't think they will ever do that, but that's fine. Anti meta converter, energy, okay. Uh, medical, 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 medical supplies. There we go. These now can be done. Bright promise. Where is bright promise? That's over there. Oh, yeah, we did that because it's uh, one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. Okay, so with the exception of the newest twin five, he can go everywhere. Cool. Uh, so that will definitely change. Uh, just, just forget I, uh, I said that, okay? Let's go quickly buy another medium, trader, distribution. Put that on and get ourselves to... Small defenders. So that is done. So the new pilot is going to be the captain of this one. He's going to be assisting the advanced auto trading fleet. Uh, while we wait for the rest to happen. Uh, what are we currently looking at? I don't care about this. Set this to inactive right now. We need to talk to Bosita. Uh, I think that is the next. Oh, set this to active. Let's see what he does. Hello. Put new pilot to work. Yeah, just, just, just give me a second, will ya? Just give me a second. Nine, eight. Yeah, that, that is fine. You. Can I help? Um, you're working somewhere else for me. Wait. I thought so for a second. Like, what is going on there? A sign over there. Put your new pilot to work. Now, get to work. I trust the hiring ceremony has gone well. Are you that lazy? Oh, no. Actually, it's the guy on the bridge. Our cooperation permanently this time. Let me again wish you farewell and safe travels. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. But I'm, I'm still on your ship. Now, we have reached uh, 10. That means that we can get promoted. Actually, that is not a bad idea to actually get that on the way as well. Where is my cactus? About to dock up. Cool. These two defenders, you will be defending Commander Alpha. And now you're going to be mimicking Commander's behavior, Beta. So we have two other traders just doing its thing. Make me proud. Make me rich. That's all I'm asking. You know, just, 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 for the rest of it, just take your time. We're waiting for the captain. It's, it's a long travel from Towering Wave all the way over here somewhere. So, yeah. Yeah, it's great, dude. Just dock. Okay, so I'm currently traveling to that abandoned ship because I need to talk to Bo Sitar actually to get... Uh, the other quests unlocked. Then we'll see what we can do. Ah, uh, this is quite annoying, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, didn't mean to do that right now. Let's go just over here. Set the destination and go. Uh, also, yeah, as you can see right over here. It's currently going to the Nostrop Oil Factory. Picking up a good amount and they will be delivering that around the galaxy I don't know if this is the right way for us to move forward I think if we're going to be doing it like this the advanced auto trade I might as well just assign them to the distribution hub water is going down Taladium is actually being sold which is good yeah we'll just wait until we meet up with the ship I will claim the ship myself uh, because marines do tend to leave a lot of damage and we don't need that. And then we'll go to Bosta, talk to him. And hopefully we are not being sent back to Kingdom's End. If that is going to be the case, then I cannot do anything else but ask 
the people making the game just please make this a bit more uh, efficient, you know, because the traveling is then a tiny bit annoying. So thinking about I need to be eating like 10, 10 of these ships. Also, my dog is having an, an itch, I think. What are you doing, dude? Groper mineral. Okay, apparently this is a grouper. And what is this? That is an abandoned ship, dude. The ship seems to be in a salvageable condition. Oh, you gotta be the kid. This is a tutorial is ship? abandoned not too long ago. This is clearly a mining ship, but that's strange. As far as I can detect, there's really very little here to mine. All I can imagine this... is that the vessel came under an attack of some kind. Pish tush! That is self-evidently incorrect. There is absolutely no sign of exterior damage. Yet that makes the mystery still more seductive. Seriously? Proper. This no. he has a hole 33. How do you not think there is any damage? So go into scanning mode. The tutorial is yeah, great, but we don't need it. Uh, let's make sure that we get the repair. So we're just repairing because it's the just hit the, the blinking thing. It's annoying. Ugh, come here. Ugh. Oh, no, 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 this is a tutorial. Now they, they want you to be, like, annoying. Let me there you go. Vessel systems. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. These poor people are in desperate straits. They are veritably gnawing on the bones of this system for resources. According to the ship's logs, this vessel was cannibalized for parts to save the prospecting flotilla. Evidently, this system has long since been picked over. But they were gambling on some resources having been missed. Uh huh. That's that's great. For a miner. Explore. Keep the ship. Do with it what you wish. Do not neglect to crew the vessel appropriately if you wish to make optimal use of it. Yeah, that's great, dude. There you go, Captain on it. Let's take a quick look, because uh, yeah, wow, this absolutely. Yeah, uh, right. Uh, how expensive is that going to be? Yeah, you just do dock up and wait over there, mate. That's uh, that's fine. Uh, while we continue on our journey to Bosatar, uh, we're actually quite near now, which uh, I do like because you know flying. I do enjoy flying through this entire game. And we'll see where we can go into next. So Argon 2 was actually being arrested by pirates. The pirate was quite a distance away. And usually they don't be arrested. He, the Argon fleet is not arrested as much. I'm actually considering maybe getting Taladi, the Taladi trade fleet to go to the Argon space. But yeah, we'll just uh, see. Oh, there is a factory in the way. Interesting. Man, I love this ship. It's so cool. Uh, how I wish that the um, they would use like different modules, but I think that's just too much. Too much. Uh, meet you up at Bositar, guys. Alright, so we made it to the POS, and uh, let's go talk with Bosa. Hello there. Delivering Bofu. My beloved Bofu. Indeed you did. But that's it. Oh, her delightful majesty. Yes, well, not quite the queen. I may have hijacked your mission communications a tad, just to imbue this delivery with some alacrity. However, the Bofu shipment is very much appreciated. <laughs> Damn bastard. Incidentally, your biosignature indicates somewhat elevated stress levels. Why? Fret not. I shall assist you by extricating my intervention from your mission communications. Indeed, I see you are behind on a number of very important royal duties. No shit, dude. You had me trafficking Bofu. Like I'm some courier. Let's go check this out. So we have a few missions to do. Uh, we need to deliver three Makos, which I don't think is... 
too difficult to do. We can just simply buy them over here. So the Makos need combat thrusters, all-round engine. Why would you use all-round engine? Oh, okay, whatever. Shield generators and two phase. Okay, set this to active. How many did he need? He wants three. Uh, I might not have the money for it though. Marcos, arms delivery. Yeah, actually that's quite convenient that this is one of the options that you'll get. Uh, memorizing what we usually do or need on the ships is uh, annoying. Just as much as this guy deciding to talk through me. How rude. That is an interesting arms deal. Uh -huh. It's possible that they want to support the Free League, as they claim. But it's just as plausible that the Boron military... Did his voice change? ...during the isolation. They yes! ...they want a live-fire field test of their military hardware before they find themselves in a real conflict. I was asked to drop my cargo. Anyhow, we... Yeah, we have a problem. I don't have the money. Can I get myself some cash here? Because I've been... Absolutely just putting everything in. Why is this backward? Oh, like so. Just get all of that back for now. And we'll, uh, I think we need half a million or something like that. One and a half. Oh, 1.3, 1.7. 1 uh, and the POS. Wow, we I think we're barely making it. Let's make sure we pause. <laughs> Otherwise, well, we might just lose that opportunity. Uh, click R. Buy ships. Small. Mako. Deliver. Don't really care about the name. We'll be losing this anyways. There's no hull parts. Oh, that's fantastic. How cool. Well. Awesome. I do want to actually get over to the faction representative and get myself the large container storage. Uh, but I will not bore you with a travel like that. Is there another mission we can just quickly take? Because we're now waiting here. Improve relations with the Holy Order to a neutral negative 9. Let's set that to active. Let's get into our ship. So the Holy Order, how much do you oh, hate me? Negative fifth. Oh, that's fantastic. Maybe we can do another one if there's nothing to learn. Uh, improve relations with the Terrans. Sure, let's activate that as well. See what they have to say. The Terran Protectorate. The Queendom has no closer ally than the Argon Federation. However, our contentions with the Terrans make Boron relations with the Protectorate a matter of some delicacy. The Terrans have made a gracious offer to construct a Boron habitat to house a diplomatic delegation. To this end... We're supposed to deliver an Ishala water sample, complete with all its salts and microorganisms. Regrettably, our Herald was not up to this simple task. He suffered some sort of emotional breakdown <laughs> and has returned to Boron space for medical attention. He managed to leave the water sample in a bar of all places. You joking? We just acquire another sample from Ishala, but our Herald will face enough opprobrium. I would rather we resolve this without increasing his shame. The mission is simple. Just retrieve the water and deliver it safely to the Terran Emissary. Well, that's embarrassing. It sounds Most fun, breakdown. actually. If you ask me, some of these boron are just a little bit too soft. No shit. The damp lipped aquatics aren't necessarily going to have the mental toughness for the territories beyond their cozy queendom. Present company accepted, of course. Okay, now before we go, uh, what else? 
Uh, we need to deliver water to tide break. Uh, we have to find that first. Of course, that is not too difficult because it's basically just over here. Uh, and the other one is acquiring brew. Wait, 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 wait. Do you want me to build that? I need to buy these blueprints from you? Oh, you're joking, aren't you? Which is that going to be? Where is the... Oh, for frick's sake. Oh, yeah. We, we won't do that for any time soon, to be fair. Improve relations. There's no real mission. I do like the calming water. I do want to meet up with the Terrans. We already know where these guys are. Well, I say that. I kind of could use some additional business. Unfortunately, well, we are close to like 50 minutes of recording, even though for you it's probably like, I don't know, 35, 40 minutes, something in the uh, in that range. Usually I drop about uh, a good 20% of the recording just to keep things streamlined. And I'm also extremely satisfied. There we are done with that. Oh my god, that Koch mission. Oh, that was atrocious. That was so annoying. Really, really annoying. I never want to do that again. So one of the Makos apparently is done and waiting over here. That's cool. Two more to be built. These are actually already on target. Great. So we're waiting three or four of six. Come on. Two more to go, and we'll assign them to the distribution hub. I think that is the major, the major issue that it, there is not enough guys going around distributing. Because if I look at okay, how much water is there currently? Not not okay. That's that's a bad example. Sunrise flower medicine. No strop oil is extremely high. It could be a different of a, a a few. How do you say that? Okay, let, let's let's try English today. Um, it could have a number of factors why this isn't going as fast as I hope it is. Uh, but it seems that it's business as usual right now. If that is true, and the Taladium is... Yeah, it's filling up. That means that we can almost start building the next factory. I'm... I'm not sure if I want to do the refined metals already. Because, well, of the Taladium. However, the silicon wafers are used. And the refined metals, I'm sure that there is enough factions close by that can use them. Entering They're system. not too expensive to make. Choice. And we already have, like, the basic uh, logistics for all of them. Because if I actually if I go silicon, if I go silicon wafers, do I need graphene? Or is that hull parts? Let me check that really quick. Uh, hull parts. Oh yeah, hull parts is a graphene and refined metals. Also, the blueprint is somewhat expensive, and it has been a damn nightmare getting stuff. In here, but I do think production this will allow you to gain it is necessary that we start the doing this. I might have to force could, feed this stuff into material. their face. Hopefully, it's not necessary. But if we can get the hull parts, the blueprint, without you know using our uh, money, then that would be cool. Do I have some EMP on me? Entering system, Argon Prime. In my black box, that's right. No, can't really see it like this. Yeah, spacesuit EMP, I got three of them. So, the graphene I'll buy, that is like, I think like three and a half thousand. But, Entering system. Second let's just say that everything of a, ab above a X amount... We'll just try to steal. Say the Claytronics. That's a blueprint. 
that is costing you uh, roughly like 20 million. Like hell, I'll just do it. Like, like, honestly, like, I'll just, just do the hacking for that. All right, these are all done. Let's quickly assign you to the distribution. There we go. So we get 10 normal cargo ships and we have a total of 13 ore ships. Uh, of course, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of them are just going and delivering stuff everywhere. I might need to increase that. It kind of depends on like, see, see where we are right now? Or... Ice, uh, even silicon. We have enough ships mining. How is the distribution levels going? Like ice is up there. Taladium, if the ore is going up. I think that's the only two. The others is water. Yeah. Water, 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 water. It seems very, very stable right now. Yeah, I think we are ready to start building the next factory. We can do that right now. Let's do that right now. Where the hell are we? We're actually eyeballing this area in space. That's fine. I will not bore you with me just running some simple missions right now. We are going to be building another base. Where's my um, Palladium factory? That's over in here. I probably had a good reason to do that, other than me being an idiot. Why did I do that? Oh, well, who cares? Let's just do the Taladium in here as well. Why not? Uh, new plot, create. Uh, just just put you down there. It's fine, by license. Go. I want to start using the ai shuffling mode right i told you guys that uh silicon wave that's not yeah silicon wave so we want four of those three four i need to have i'm going to assume two solid and a container just 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 There you go. What else would I need? Uh, I can't do that right now. Let's quickly go to modules. Right click Encyclopedia. We will need 240 silicon. For a duration of 3. So that's almost 5. That was 20,000 silicon an hour. We'll just leave it with one medium storage. I want to have one of these. And now let's go shuffle. It's actually not too bad. Let's do it again. Oh, that's boring. Boring. Oh, that's how I build them usually. Yeah. Sure, why not? Why not? Okay, let's do it. Uh, custom, that's high preset. Unfortunately, that works absolutely fantastic. As you can see right over here, he was not building up. So make sure you get yourself a loadout for full. Hit that. Confirm change. Full. See? See why that's useful? Hey, we have that over there as well. Because I do want to get some weapons and stuff all over the place. Like, my POS is being assaulted sometimes by the, um, by the car. And that should not happen. Uh, energy. We have. Let's use energy. We don't have 3 million, let's hire ourselves a builder. Go with Taladi, go. So that is going to be the next base that will be constructed. 
giving us a new opportunity again. I will go ahead and get ourselves the large storage for the distribution hub. Uh, because, well, we quite need that at some point. Let's take a look at the Talladium. How much Talladium are we storing in this base? Yeah, that's not enough. It we we that that's not good at all. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching uh, this particular episode. If you do, then pray with me to the YouTube algorithm gods uh, by smashing the like, leaving a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.